on Pixel Carp was published article about Don't Start Together food and we will show you how to make one of them, the guacamole. This can be done in various recipes or various combinations, but the, every, one, every one of them needs a mold. And we actually prepare this recipe and show it how it can be done in real life. But without a mold. Now, let's see what we will need for our, for our guacamole. We have two avocados, and this will be the most important ingredient. After that, we have some lime. You can see nice green. Also, we have one lemon right here. And we will basically using just a part of it. And all these three things I mentioned right now, they are team one, group one. Remember that for later. After that, we have one young onion right here. Also, we have a little tomatoes. We can also have a big one, but the little ones are more sour in taste. And for guacamole, that can be much better. Also, we have one pepper right here. Basically, we can use whatever pepper we like. Usually, it is used for spicing up guacamole more, but it can be also used as jalapenos. Jalapenos, yeah, that's the problem. Also, we have two red onions right here, and at the end, a garlic. And this garlic, it will be shredded using this pusher right here. And the last thing, as the most important when it comes to flavor, is uh, cilantro. This is something that is very typical for Latin America and for Caribbean. So don't forget to add this into our guacamole. This will be very important. Even, even though it doesn't have a strong taste, it has somewhat typical taste. Cilantro, don't forget. It's very important to keep this in mind. Group one and a group two. Basically, all the rest of the ingredients, including cilantro right here. Now, ingredients in team two are all nice sliced up. All nice sliced up. Except garlic right here. Everything's nice sliced up. Then, what is very important step is actually extracting insides of avocado. We can do that, but there is one very tricky part there. If you would put it there into the bowl, just like it is, it would go brown very quickly. And in order to prevent this browning, we will need to add there a lime juice. We also have a little of lemon there. So it will be nice and green, nice and green avocado. And afterwards, we will add everything here. Now what we'll have to do, put a line over there, so it doesn't brown. We'll put a little, and we'll need to mix it now. Need to be mixed, nice and slow, so it work. Yeah, four would be good. it should look. It should be nice and green. Nice. And so we will add onion first. We will add pepper. We will add cilantro. And then onion. And tomatoes. Now we will we will mix it together exactly how 
how it should look like. Now, we will add the last ingredients, that is garlic, pepper and salt. So let's start with garlic, we'll put it like this. This will add nice, nice taste into this, nice taste. Starting to smell nice. Now a little salt. And a little pepper. Voila! That's it, we are ready. So this is how guacamole should look. And it is always a good idea to eat it with a little nachos right here. So, have a good time.